So when we first started, we were using these just plain brown boxes. And early on, you're trying to keep costs down as much as possible. And then we start, went to a white box. And then a little later, we added logo on one side. And then we added to the other side. And then uh, one of our guys that works with us, he's like, Wyatt, that is the stupidest thing. He's going to put the logo on all four <laughs> sides and just eat the cost. So that's what we did. Today we're kicking off with a workout at a CrossFit box that I like to train at here in Ohio. I live in a very full house with uh, my three kids and wife. Whenever I can get the blood flowing and the body moving as early as possible, that's always my ideal. All right, we're here at the uh, CrossFit box that I train at and we're gonna have a good workout today. That was brutal. Writing out the workout today. We're gonna do some assault bike, some dumbbell snatches, uh, some pull ups, uh, then some core work. Uh, should be good. Always wipe down your equipment. <laughs> All right, we finished the workout. Now we're heading back to the house to finish the rest of the day. All right, see you guys. Back home, we're gonna rehydrate, get some fuel, and uh, just get ready for the day. All right, so when I get back from the gym, uh, I like to rehydrate, refuel, um, get electrolytes in me, get some protein in me. Uh, I generally, throughout the day, I eat fairly light toward until the end of the day, and then I start stacking my calories in. I do very minimal supplements. Everything is generally super natural and clean. So this is just a uh, tri-blend protein shake with raw milk. That's pretty much it. With a lot of the influencers that we work with, like you kind of start seeing this common theme and of how people live and you think that is it. Yeah. And it's not true. You know, and I never wanted that to be part of the brand that like we only advocate for this like rigid routine. I always wanted it just to be really authentic, organic, that we all have things that we strive to that are good for us, but um, we're like realistic that a lot of these mornings while I'm making my protein shake, I'm holding babies, somebody's crying in the background, you know what I mean? <laughs> so meditation and uh, mindfulness are super important to me. Um, when I'm able to, I love getting up in the mornings, uh, enjoying the sunrise, uh, and doing more of an active meditation. It helps me become more present. It's been just instrumental um, as a husband, as a father, uh, and also running um, Ice Barrel to be able to just stay grounded consistently and have these moments throughout the day where I'm coming back to mindfulness practices just to get everything reset um, so that I can keep going, I can stay present, patient, um, and peaceful. Why do you like to do this in the morning? Uh, I think it's a great way to establish a uh, routine uh, for the kids as well as um, it's a great way just to connect in the morning with the kids. Uh, there's a nice long walk involved so there's a level of just like shaking off the early morning uh, challenges with uh, just getting up and getting ready for school. Um, so it's also a great way just to establish connection uh, with the kids as well. So that's why we like to walk them out to school every day. All right. So this is Persephone the peacock. She's very nice. She just gets kind of nervous. And she's actually very tall and she'll probably fly away as soon as we uh, as soon as I let her go but she'll roost up in the trees and uh, she'll protect the chickens from the hawks so so these are our chickens our ducks uh, these guys over here these are the turkeys and we have the ducks 
these little guys here, these are the silkies. Really beautiful little chickens. A lot of fun, the kids love them. Then we got a mallard duck over here too, this little guy. All of the chicken's grain is organic and it doesn't have any seed oils. Uh, chickens only have one stomach, unlike uh, like cows and some other animals, and so they can't process seed oils. Uh, and it stays in their system for around five years. Um, so traditional chicken feed has canola oil in it, of all things, super unnecessary. Uh, but we get ours without any, uh, any seed oils, all organic. We've had a couple different animals throughout the years, and this is the current, current venture to get some farm fresh eggs. Uh, so they're a lot of fun and the kids love them, so. Hey, we're here at the warehouse. This is where we do the majority of our shipping and receiving from. So we have our manufacturing facility, which we'll go to later today. Um, but then everything comes in here, gets processed, labeled, and then shipped out to our wonderful community. So we got a lot of inventory here. And uh, kind of just tucks back all the way around here. This is our forklift that we use. And this is where we do a lot of the packaging. So uh, we have a warehouse manager uh, and some contractors that come in and help us assemble. Um, and then our kids hang out with us here. That's why there's kid toys. We are on our way right now to our manufacturing facility. Um, I like to stop in there you know, once or twice a month, do some quality control, uh, see the team. Uh, and just get really connected to what's going on there. It's also super amazing just watching the process of an ice barrel get made, um, going from the dry powder uh, that's fully recycled with, with like the black ones all the way uh, to it getting formed and then doing the modifications on it all the way through the packaging process. Um, every single time I see that, it's just, just it's exciting, it's humbling. Uh, grateful. All right, so we're here uh, at a customer's house hand delivering a barrel today, which is awesome. Uh, they were actually a customer of uh, ours a long time ago with the original oak barrel. So we'll show you that first and then we'll get their new one set out for them. Uh, original oak barrel right here. This thing was made back in, uh, gosh, at least like 2018-ish time frame. Um, it's actually held up pretty good. There's, uh, oh, there's water in it as well. So this thing, the barrel itself, this thing will last a lifetime. Um, that's pretty cool. All right, see, he's coming right up. This is uh, my black Angus beef. Um, super important for me to be intentional about how I consume food. Um, one of the things that has been important uh, to me is raising uh, my own food uh, organically, grass-fed, uh, no hormones, nothing like that. So part of that uh, is I raise a beef uh, twice a year. Um, and they get all this amazing pasture to roam on. Um, and their quality of life is super high, um, which is great. Um, and then everything is done super humanely. Uh, it gives the animal a lot of respect, um, which is just super important to me. So um, yeah, this is the beef. Ending the day here. Um, always like to end my days with an ice bath. Um, it's just part of this idea and practice I follow of intentional living. Uh, a lot of the practices um, and routines I have throughout the day when I'm able to implement them, um, it's all about being intentional from the way that I breathe, the way that I move, the way that I eat, the way that I recover. Don't watch the news. I don't personally have social media. I never know what's going on unless somebody fills me in, uh, but it just creates a little bit of a, uh, a calmer environment. I don't get wrapped up in the drama and in the uh, politics of the time.
Not today.